Hi, I'm Sarah Gradia. I'm one of the critical care specialists here at Dove Lewis, and I'm here to talk about an interesting case that we actually had in our hospital last week um, of a dog that ingested some sort of neurotoxin. Cora is a two-year-old spayed female um, Australian cattle dog who had been in the yard a couple of hours earlier and maybe had ingested some material. Her owners noticed that she was starting to have a little bit of a drunken gait. She was weak in her back legs and also had some pretty heavy panting. Because of these signs that Cora was having at home, she was presented to another emergency hospital here in the Portland area. And um, when there, they also did notice that she was having, having some tremoring as well. They had performed blood work initially, which didn't show any concern or didn't show any reasons uh, for her uh, signs that she was having, um, though a mild increase and one of her liver enzymes uh, called ALT was elevated as well as her uh, bilirubin level. Due to concern for uh, some sort of neurotoxin, again, we don't know exactly what, um, a number of therapies um, were instituted for her there um, as a way to decontaminate her as well as to protect her brain um, as well as her liver. She was given medications to treat her tremors. She was given intravenous lipid emulsion therapy she was given hypertonic saline um, as well as a liver protectant called N-acetylcysteine. During her time at the hospital, Cora's signs rapidly uh, began to, uh, to progress and she actually became more and more sedate and ultimately went into a comatose state. Because of her being in a comatose state, they did place a breathing tube um, down her airway to help protect her airway. Um, and during that time, they also performed some gastric decontamination as well, um, where they did an orogastric lavage for her. During that lavage, they um, were able to remove and recover what appeared to be um, more uh, mushroom uh, pieces from her stomach. Due to concern, again, for mushroom um, exposure leading to uh, her signs, a Facebook mycology group um, was messaged with pictures of the mushrooms that came from the backyard. Um, but unfortunately, those mushrooms were deemed to be um, benign and not likely uh, to be toxic. That being said, you know, we don't really know if there were other mycotoxins or other mushrooms that could have been associated with this major mushroom that we found that could have led to these signs for her. Um, as her signs had progressed um, over at another emergency hospital, um, sh there was concern that she was not breathing very well um, on her own because of her comatose state. Overnight, Cora was um, maintained on um, an anesthetic ventilator um, while at the other emergency hospital but by that following morning she actually was able to breathe on her own again but the breathing tube was still in place at this point this is where Dove Lewis was contacted um, in order for us to be able to continue her care uh, here at our hospital because she was intubated um, and uh, again comatose uh, this she was not going to be a patient that her family was going to be able to drive her over to our hospital um, so we actually went to go pick her up in our hospital van uh, from the emergency facility and transported her safely back to our hospital here. Once here at Dove Lewis, she had that breathing tube in place, but as a little bit of time went on here at our hospital, we did note that she um, was not breathing as strong as we would like to have seen for her and her chest movements were, were pretty weak. She was using a lot of abdominal muscles to breathe and uh, her carbon dioxide levels were actually starting to increase. And so due to these concerns, we actually wound up placing her on a mechanical ventilator here at our hospital as a way to take that work of breathing away from her and, and allow us to do that for her. Um, and of course, also to protect her airway. Um, as she was still comatose. During her time, um, we did note concern that potentially Cora was having some silent seizures and she was started on an anti-seizure medication to help prevent future seizures from happening, though overnight she did indeed have two additional uh, generalized or grand mal type seizures. Cora was maintained on the mechanical ventilator um, overnight. The following morning, however, she started to show some more signs of alertness 
and um, was taking stronger uh, breaths and breathing movements on her own. And so because of that, we slowly started to wean down the support that the mechanical ventilator was providing to her. In a short amount of time, we were actually able to uh, disconnect her from the mechanical ventilator. And she actually had become more awake at this time that we felt it was safe uh, to actually be able to remove that breathing tube for her as well. And once we did that, uh, Cora's improvement from there um, was, uh, was pretty remarkable. She was becoming stronger, she was able to walk, her mentation was normal, and even by that afternoon she was eating for us. She did stay one more night in our hospital for monitoring, and by the following day uh, Cora was 99% back to her normal self um, and was able to go home uh, with her family. We did recheck liver values um, while here at our hospital, and and there was um, a, a modest increase from where they had been uh, initially at the other emergency hospital. And so because of that, um, we weren't sure if the toxin that she got into not only affected her uh, central nervous system, uh, but also her liver. And so we did continue her on some liver protectant medications, um, and she also went home with some anti-seizure medications um, uh, as well. We are thrilled that Cora's case had such a, a, a quick uh, resolution and a positive outcome. With neurotoxins, you know, we don't always know sometimes, you know, what that neurotoxin is, how long it's going to affect a patient, um, and if there's going to be any long-standing uh, effects that can come from that. Luckily for Cora right now, um, you know, she doesn't appear to be have any, having any long-standing uh, effects and, and her recovery was, was quite quick and, and uh, just a really great success story for, for her and her family.